Welcome, 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 everybody. My name is Lawrence, and you're listening to APN's Waveform. Yes, we did plan to upload every two weeks, and we did say that we were going to have new graphics. Well, our two-week delay happened because ya boy had to cram UC applications, USC applications, and Claremont McKenna applications. Do I have senioritis? Do I just have a lazy personality? Who knows? But we're back. So don't think about complaining. Or I'll use a specific set, set of skills to find you. Hashtag taken. So today I'm joined by special guest Kevin Wu. He is the co-host of APN's new gaming show, Got AFK. They already released their first show back in early November, and it marks another creative milestone for APN in the era of COVID-19. Special thanks to Vietnam Kitchen for sponsoring Season 2, Chapter 2. Let's get going. Let's jump into the media bit, Kevin. You know, gotta AFK. You know, <laughs> it's, I think, yeah, it was definitely the first new brand for APN that we've had in a long while. You know, mm -hmm. we've had, you know, you've seen the live streams, the documentaries, regular shows. Um, you may have even also seen some of you in the... Uh, they're listening lights right out, now. Maybe? Yeah, lights out. Lights out. Lights out. Yeah. And wait, waveform. Waveform is also, you know, like a uh, new, well, not new branding, but it was a new branding like back, back then. Yeah. Yeah. Back then. Early 2019. Yeah. Thank you to, thanks to, you know, Paulo Contreras, Jeremy Sutton. Um, But yeah, I definitely, I took up their torch, brought it up, but got AFK is definitely something new and it only could have arisen because of COVID-19. So Kevin, why don't you take it away? What what is AFK? What yeah? Okay, so uh, let me explain the inspiration behind uh, this show. So basically, you know, me and Jackie are very interested in esports and anything just gaming related, and we're like APN, the main show, or any APN uh, uh, brandings haven't really talked about any esports or gaming related yeah. content. So we're like, instead of interfering with like the main current events and news show, let's make a separate branding, a separate talk show, or just a separate show that's on esports and current events in gaming. Yeah. So I yeah. remember, I remember that conversation that we had. You, we were always trying to get like esports stuff on the sh on the regular show. You know, it was always that conflict. Like, is it relevant? How many people are really looking for this type of stuff? Yeah. And it was like, I, I I remember there was considerable tension during production meetings when it came to that issue. Yeah, it basically, you know, like esports is arising in pop culture and just all around the world. And that's why, you know, like we didn't want to, you know, put too much gaming uh, news because there, there's a, uh, on the Ming show because there's a lot of like gaming news that we can talk about. But, you know, cramming it into one story or whatever on the main news show, that would be a little too much for the audience. So for whoever's like interested in esports or gaming, they in, uh, like instead of going on the main show for gaming, they can just move on to God of AFK for all of the esports and gaming current events. Yeah, yeah. I In fact, definitely. Yeah, I just I took a look at your show, uh, God of AFK, and I, I have to say. It's it it's very professional. I, I definitely like the introduction too. It's a very <laughs> skit like definitely like a lot of the stuff that we miss out in, in when we cover regular shows, especially because we follow that like traditional uh, that very traditional news reporting yeah. style, bite, intro, interviews, VO, etc. And so yeah. I, I yeah, it's def it definitely brings like a new how do I say it? like a new atmosphere. A new... Kind of, sort of a new style too, I guess, because, yeah. it, like, you know, it, it on the surface it might look a little bit like the APN's uh, main show, but you know, APN's main show doesn't really have any tournament recaps on the game. Well, maybe sports recap. Yeah, that's so. You know, we definitely took inspiration from the APN's main show, but we also didn't want to make it generic and bland. So we just, you know, we we came up with a plan and you know made it our own style so to speak definitely and, and i think it really like shows in the graphics that you guys do <laughs> the, the animations um those are impressive i gotta say um what is that photoshop photoshop oh okay so the logo 
uh, was made by one of our close friends, Cameron Cove. Shout out to you for making the logo. It looks really nice. Um, the the what's it called? The transition graphics are. Um, I think I made it back when I. Okay, so back then I wanted to be a professional Twitch streamer, <laughs> but <laughs> nice. Unfortunately, I uh, never never made it into that int- industry. So uh, I I you know. I've had this computer for a long time. I just, I never deleted anything. I just kept it on there. And when Jackie was like, let's do a gaming show. I'm like, transitions. That's a new thing we can bring like into this show. So I was like, back in like 2018, I wanted to do Twitch stream. Um, What were those transitions called? I found it. I'm like, oh my God, I miss (laughs) these stuff. And I'm just going to definitely put it in those show. And you know what? It actually looks really decent. Like, I'm actually proud of making those. Oh, yeah. And in terms Very. of, like, the, yeah, the graphics and borders, that was, like, um, a, like, a new set of streaming borders. Because I, I have a, because back then I was really into, like, becoming a streamer. Yeah. So I was, I, like. I definitely, I see it through your, um, your YouTube channel that you have. You know, shout out <laughs> to that, Kevin Dao. Da- <laughs> oh, my God. Follow it, guys. Follow it. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah um dude how there many, might be how many people are we shouting out we got what <laughs> vietnam kitchen we got afk <laughs> we got and now we have kevin da Wu. you dude. know what you know just name this wave of wave from podcast the shout out you know yeah you know. just just yeah shout out just sponsored by the sponsored show just the sponsor yeah that's the sponsored show by everything you know <laughs> it's just bring up i i just like no, i just take out like a pack of diet coke sponsored by coke oh my Love god dude coke. No. no just take dude just take out all of your college mails be like sponsored oh. by these colleges <laughs> yeah woo except yeah you see right. okay sorry yeah uh senioritis no was yeah. kicking in <laughs> yeah i know definitely that, that senioritis just trailing away into that oh into the god okay let's get back to the let's get back to the, the main uh, topic yeah, yeah got afk so um so yeah a lot of so what's what's the process behind it like sort of like what's the what's the schedule that you guys put yourselves to like you know APM we have like the production meeting we have script review et cetera, et cetera. so what's the what's the what goes on behind the scenes how you guys what's the workflow like all right that's a good question Lawrence no I sound like an interviewer now but like um that's actually a really good question so the process behind this so our show um not we typically don't want to clash with waveform podcast but you know this week it's an exception since it's a holiday coming up and stuff yeah but usually we it's waveform podcast and got afk then blah, blah 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 like that so our show airs every like bi-weekly every other week and so and it's airing every wednesday so the friday before airing we typically have our main production meeting like APM production meetings, we uh, discuss, you know, what topics are we going to discuss? What is going on in the esports world? Uh, is, is this like crazy roster changes in League of Legends or whatever? All these ideas, we put it down. And then after we list out all of the ideas, of course, we probably can't cover all of them since there are probably like five, 10 to 15 ideas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah so we just pick out like the the most like spicy juicy like the really good topic to discuss about and we uh you know we finish our uh, production meeting with you know yeah with all these topics uh, listed down on our document then moving on to saturday uh that's when we have our script meeting uh we have to you know make obviously we have to make a script for intro outro and for the reads and tournament recaps, so yeah, 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 Saturday it's dedicated to script meeting, and after that, on Sunday we start recording everything we've done on the script. So the intros, the outros, the tournament recaps, the you know, uh, besides the podcast section we have, we also have a podcast yeah. section on our show. Yeah. It's always <laughs> you're, you're, little, you're kind of stepping on our territory, man. Hey, hey, I, hey, I man. might, I it's, might start it's... putting up some gaming stuff here too. We're we're, we're just Are setting you... restrictions so you guys can talk about gaming materials on um, your phone. Po- I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It seems, but... really, seems really sus, man. Might need to oh, eject no. you. Just hey. vote you out. Oh yo yo yo. Okay, that's a little too far, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. Right. But 
on Sunday, we record all of that besides the podcast section. Uh, in the production meeting on Friday, we also discuss like what are we going to talk about on our podcast. And once we pick one or I think maxim- maximum of two topics, we will contact whoever like guests that wants to come on the show. Usually they are pretty well versed in those topics. For example, like Andy Lee, shout out to him. Ah, shout out show. Yeah. Andy Lee, he's really well versed in like League of Legends stuff. So uh, if we had a podcast uh, about League of Legends items uh, on our last show, check it out on our last show. Uh, we invited Andy Lee as our special uh, special guest. So that also goes into the production meeting. And on Monday, that's when we record the actual podcast with the special guest. And we we use um we usually use OBS to record Discord calls because I think Discord uh, runs really smoothly. So, and then mon starting from Monday night through throughout Tuesday. I can just start editing because the show is airing on Wednesday. And usually I spend most of the time on Tuesday uh, editing for the Gata AFK show as I am, uh, I have been the producer, excuse me, I have been the producer of this show. And Wednesday at 1 p.m., I set a premiere to at 1 p.m. and we air the show. I know that's a lot that you have heard from me. But that's, you know, that's the really detailed process of what we go through uh, for this show, really. Like, it, it's actually like a five-day process that we have to go through. Yeah, it's it's definitely, like, uh, for everyone listening, like, what you just heard here, as he as Kevin said before, you know, it's definitely, I think it's definitely easier to re- sort of model, model the production process like that as well. Because, you know, you're, we're already in APN, so... I think it was. It, uh, I I assume that it's probably it was easier to get in that sort of workflow again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's you know, um, like the show format and stuff, and the experience from APN. You know, production meeting, script meeting, all that stuff. We've all done that in APN. Therefore, we can use like the knowledge from uh, what we've done in APN, put it onto God AFK and be like, you know, this is easy stuff we can just you know as long as we do it not procrastinate we're good (laughs) definitely definitely um yeah so um you know we talk both of us you know especially you just now you know we've talked about oh we're running these shows we like this we're we're especially i think both of us we're definitely like the the lead producers of our shows yes but i think the question that comes to people's minds now is why are we qualified to run these shows what what makes us uniquely fit to sort of to drive to drive the production fuel the production I guess like a fuel behind yeah the, like shows. like why yeah I I get what you're saying like why are we yeah. qualified like, why is it us that's producing these stuff not other people of APN or whatever right yeah definitely like I think a lot of people. Especially when, especially with the media nowadays, you know, with like fake news and <laughs> um, media bias, a lot of people mm-hmm. they start looking closer at people's credentials, and and they they start to closely examine who who is this person outside of the media, and how do those influences come together as they're reporting, and so yeah, yeah Kevin, what? I, because you know, we we met each other in freshman year. We've known each other for four years already. So, yes, sir. Yeah, Kevin, why don't you? Yeah, why don't you like uh, tell our viewers your your background and all of this? Um. So, I think I am pretty qualified in making this show because I I'm really, as I said before, uh, I'm really interested in gaming and esports stuff. So you know, I really would put the work into producing this show that to like to make it look its best right and but r- it really comes down um to Jackie though Jackie is the first person who really promoted this idea with the entire class actually and I was like this is such a cool idea I'm just going to hop on so really I, it's really uh Thanks to Jackie that this show is actually like possible. And me and Jackie were like, as I mentioned before, really interested in gaming esports. So we're like, let's bring the audience some gaming news and, you know, like they can be informed and entertained in the gaming world. And just a little plug in for myself, so to speak. 
before I joined APN, the first memory that uh, Mr. Sunis has of me is actually the Arcadia League Championship host. I was the host of the first Ar- Arcadia League Championship, at least for the a- a- APN League of uh, League of Legends Championship yeah, tournament. Yeah, I remember you on that, dude. I was like, I had the same feeling as you when you saw me on APN. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Kevin. My <laughs> man, my man is on APN. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, and, but... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah. So uh, you know, like that was a really, that's really kind of like the stepping stone. I'm like, wow, I just hosted a gaming tournament, and this is really cool. And that's kind of like, you know, I had the show idea kind of on the back of my mind, but I never really, you know, talked to the class about it, uh, because you know, as you mentioned before. Is this really something we want to put our on our show? But then Jackie took a step forward and be like, you know what? We're making a separate branding branding for this uh, God AFK gaming show. So I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to do this. And I think that's what makes me qualify. Like I've had experience in hosting gaming stuff and I, re- I would really put in the work for producing all these esports and gaming events. Uh, Kevin, I also want to uh, elaborate. Uh, I also want... To elaborate on uh i think let's let's definitely like delve into like just mm-hmm. before that because mm-hmm. you said you you started you had a love for video production since like middle school why don't you why don't you talk about that aspect as well because okay all yeah, right video yeah, i think that project- really sorry that really yeah, played yeah. like a big a big part in why you're in apn as well okay yeah definitely in middle school i i started video produ- uh production in sixth grade, actually. That's when I kind of received my first um, uh, laptop of my own. And really, like, le- legit, literally, the first thing I downloaded besides Chrome was uh, a free video editing software. I think it's called uh, Wondershare Fremora. I-, I-, I started using it, and, you know, when I first got into it, I was like, what the heck is all this? Wait, what's split? What's crop? Wait, what? What's going on? What is this track bar? What? But I took the time to learn. And, you know, as time went on, in eighth grade, that's when I kind of started my own YouTube channel. And my first videos, uh, actually, I think a lot of my videos on my channel are actually for school projects. Because they were like, oh my god, Kevin, you know how to edit? Let's let's do a video skit. I'm like, this is so sick. I'm going to make this skit the best skit ever. And literally, the first video that I've done on my channel, I think was on the te- the the bill of rights the 10 amendments and that's mm, I when saw that one. <laughs> that's bill when PPAP right. was like a popular meme song so I was like I'm gonna do a parody of that 10 amendments on- mm, yeah you <laughs> hop on the bandwagon <laughs> and then my history teacher loved it instead of a 5 point extra credit she gave me 25 points for that extra oh. credit <laughs> yeah. I was about so, to say I was about to say holy yeah. Yeah. Dude, but that's, yeah. Nah. yeah, and and then and then she sent it to the entire faculty. And and then one day mm. the principal went up to me and was like, Hey, are you Kevin, right? Dude, I loved your uh, music video on a bill of rights. I'm like, oh my god, the principal's talking to me. I at first I was like, Am I gonna get detention? What's going on? And he's like, Kevin, I, I loved your video, man. I'm like, oh no. Oh, Dr. Ha- Dr. Hacking, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Dr. Oh my god, so many shout outs in this I know, show. I know. <laughs> We, we got we got to make a list of this. I'll, I'll put it I'll put it in the description uh, during yeah, the post. Yeah, uh, we 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 got you. Yeah, but yeah, that's basically my journey into uh, video production. And you know, I continued uh, producing more videos and stuff, and learning how to edit. Uh, you know, I started learning Premiere in ninth grade and stuff, and a little bit after After Effects, but I'm still working on that. And you know, after hosting the ALC uh, Arcadia League Championship, I was like, you know what? I want to join APN. I want to show off what the past years of my video production skills, ha- like what I've what I've been uh, doing and what have I improved on. Right. I really want to express yeah. that through uh, through this organization APN. So I decided yeah. to join. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But like it, all enough of, us. of yeah. yeah. Enough about me. What about you, Lawrence? Tell me about your background story and why you are qualified to producing this wave uh, form pro- podcast so yeah yeah definitely sure 
Um, I like how we're giving all these like, oh yeah, you're doing so great. Oh, you're man. We're just yeah. complimenting you. you we're, know, just, even, we're just kissing. Fake it till you make it. No, <laughs> yeah, fake till you make it. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, but in all serious, seriousness, yeah. This. Um. So yeah, my podcasting. Uh, my podcasting affinity, my interest in in this whole thing, it actually came from my video production days as well. Um, I had my first exposure in fifth grade at a art school, Creative World Art School. It's on First Avenue, right here. Oh, yeah, I, I know that. I think I've visited there, but I really never went nice. there. Really Yeah, I visited um, there before. Yeah, I I've been with them since its inception back in 2010, um, and it was around like fifth grade, so it was like 2013, 2014. Uh, I think part of their like as either I think their summer camp either summer no they're during after school I think it's an after school thing because uh-huh. they would have time for homework and then they have like a little arts program after oh okay so after. it's basically after school but with like an extra thing that yeah. art program stuff oh okay yeah. that's cool and so and so what I what I ended up well I I ended up being in a class it was like uh for video production. And the teacher, that's when uh, we got, we learned uh, stop motion animation. We produced like a skit. And that's when I really started that's to, cool. um, I was really interested in iMovie Pro, like the, just the oh. whole editing, the whole editing thing. And it seems super cool. So I'd spend all my time there editing the, uh, just learning how to edit, editing together the, the script, the, no, sorry, the skits and the stop motion animations. Because it was just so cool the way that like you could take all these videos, compile it together, do yeah. all this text stuff, and it Dude, looks amazing. I, yeah, I get your feeling. Like after you've produced that video, you're like, "This is the work I've done. I'm so proud of it." Like you get that, ah, oh, like wow feeling, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. And I think um, that's also the time I actually met Ricky, our fellow medium. I actually met him at Creative World Arts. Oh, Center. really? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so he he actually helped me make my first video, my stop motion animation film movie. Um, I have, what is it? it's called the Epic Fail Raid, and what I did <laughs> what? is basically like we had um we we just pretended like oh there was like a there was a military base, and then like oh there's an army invading, and you see like all the soldiers fight each other. Is it like a stick figure? Or? No, no, no. They're like I brought in um. I have a bunch of toy soldiers. The oh, oh, yo. Oh. So it's kind of like those toy soldiers like invading yeah, yeah, yeah. and fighting. Oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. really cool. So that, you know, that was that. Um, so then, you know, I've always had an affinity for video production. I joined my broadcast journalism program at, F- at First Avenue in eighth grade. It was like for a semester um, after I did theater production. Um, and that's why you met uh, Mr. Sunis, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he'd always come in for, um, come in to just like check up on our equipment, do repairs and stuff. Oh. Um, that's how I, you know, I talked with him, made a small talk with him, talked to, talked with him about APN, sound stuff, etc. Because I was the one that that was doing the switch, the TriCaster. The, I switched the video. I was doing the video switcher for the daily for the daily video shows that we had the daily news broadcast that we had and he's like oh you should join apm like yeah yeah this is amazing um so yeah i though like even though i really liked video production i i i have like a love hate relationship with um (laughs) editing because it just takes so long and it's so tedious that that yeah that is true and sometimes if you want to if you if you have to edit something for because like for some school projects you probably just don't want to edit it because you know yeah, it's it takes probably forever. like takes forever and it's somewhat you know maybe boring but i think like for me whatever i edit after i edit it and if it looks good i'm always like you know having that proud feeling like i edit that that looks pretty good so yeah just Quickly going through it, um, I ended up joining DCI, um, the Digital Communications Internship at, up at the district. Um, and if you don't know what they do, they basically they help the school district with PR stuff, uh, communications. You learn advanced journalism skills. Um, and I wanted to join the video team, but again, I didn't really like to edit videos. Well, I do, but you know, I just didn't have the, the time love hate relationship. Yeah, the love hate yeah. relationship. Yeah. So I decided to take up podcasting. Um, because 
I don't know why not. It seemed like video production, just minus the video. <laughs> and I really, I liked it because of, you know, like right now we have this conversational segment. It, it, it's so much, I feel like it's, it triumphs video in sort of one aspect. But it's first, um, you don't have to show your face. You know, <laughs> it, it takes less work. And it's second, yeah, it still preserves that human emotional reporting aspect of it through audio. And so, you know, I just, uh, because I love that potential, I stayed on with the team. And, you know, it's already been a little over two years already. I've created amazing, rich episodes. Um, we've had on the DCI's podcasting team, uh, which produces Keep in Arcadia, shout out mm. to them, which I happen to be the podcast manager of. Um, you know, Flex. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've had... A lot of famous people, Ryan Bergar from BuzzFeed, uh, AHS alum and Jeopardy contestant, Xiao mm. Keying. We've been featured um, as an honorable mention for two years straight on NPR's Student Podcasting Challenge. And with all that experience, I came to APN. And I, you know, seeing how Paul Contreras and Jeremy Sutton started up the APN podcast, I, you know, I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to take my passions from DCI and really put it into the into APN and restart this podcast, which, you know, it started, this orig- podcast originally started early 2019, but it sort of ended ended after the 2018, 2019 school year. So I, I want to really bring it up again. And so, yeah. Definitely. That's, that's, dude, that's my story you know, here. That makes you, yeah, that, that just makes you, you know, a perfect uh, podcast manager and host, I think, you know, Lauren's son. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> really swell in my cheering ear. everywhere. Dude, in, in, in editing, you should put like, wow, cheering music or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> all hail, all hail. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's it for. <laughs> all right. So finally y'all can take a break. Cause you know, <laughs> and just to reiterate, once again, you know, this chapter of APN's Waveform is brought to you by Vietnam Kitchen. Um, this local restaurant is actually partially owned by the parents of Arcadia High School senior and current ASB member Brandon Wong, who is a longtime friend of my friend of mine. So if you decide to stop by and get some food, you'll not only be supporting small business, but you'll also be supporting the AUSD community as well. Now, in terms of the restaurant and food themselves, I'm so glad that there is a local Vietnamese restaurant restaurant site here. Uh, you know, in particular, their spring rolls and grilled pork broken rice are some of my favorite dishes, just after the pho, of course. You know, they even serve up fusion cuisine as well, like their Cajun shrimp. If you want to get some of this good, good stuff uh, and support the local community at the same time, go check out Vietnam Kitchen and you'll get a 10% and you'll get 10% off your meal when you mention the code word APN. That's 10% off when you mention APN. All right. We're back. Um it's time to time to delve into the future, Kevin. What are you what are you expecting for the future of Got AFK? What are you hoping to do? So I, I'm, you know, we, we have, me and Jackie have discussed a few things about this, uh, God AFK show and how we want to continue it next year. I think one of the biggest thing that we want to maybe include is we could perhaps host weekly games or, um, yeah, weekly games or bi-weekly games, whatever depends on, uh, when we're not busy and games, these games could include among us, Minecraft hunger games. Uh, League of Legends, Amram, 1v1, King of the Hill style, and many more, obviously. So I think that might be something that's pretty fun to host and maybe even oh, yeah. live stream or record and maybe put it on the put it on the next show as like a highlight from the weekly games. And then it's like uh, Among Us games, biggest bring play, whatever, right? I think... And- mm-hmm. I think that's actually a way we can bring back our live streams. As many of you know, like, you know, we can't physically film sports games because a we're not allowed to gather anymore in person and b there's no sports games. So I think, I think I brought this up in our, one of our meeting, one of the APN classes, but I think we should really, I think this is one way to bring back live streaming for anyone that really wants to get into live, you know, that wants to not produce 
another story or another read another read yeah so. D- yeah d- yeah definitely so like you know that 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 could be even like a stepping stone into the pandemic live stream uh like the reviving of the live stream if we you know if we manage to do it yeah yeah definitely definitely um you also mentioned uh you also mentioned um I think in our previous conversations, just like new, you want to add new segments. What do you think those new segments will be like? I, I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, the only thing I can probably think of is maybe, you know, how CIF uh, esports might be playing in like regional tournaments and stuff. And we could, you know, get uh, streaming rights or uh, rights to record, maybe record some of their games and then, you know, have player cards each uh each show is like uh this uh, team crimson of uh the esports team this is blah 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 and their highest gameplay highlight of the tournaments and stuff so i think that's um that's some of the segments we are probably thinking of if you know live stream and getting the rights to record from the cif tournaments are possible but other than that i think weekly weekly game live streams are another segment that we can include and besides that, you know, I, th- you know, maybe more will come as you know we can, uh, think it, think it out throughout the winter break. Definitely, definitely. Um. So yeah. So Lawrence, what 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 about you? What about um this waveform podcast? Yeah. What is your future? Uh, your and Sophia's future for this podcast? Yeah. Um. Definitely, uh, Kevin. I think you know bringing on, um. Yeah, you did mention that we we're gonna you're gonna bring on new guests, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Uh, we're uh, obviously we want as many like new guests as possible. Yeah. For for our podcast section, I think, you know, just in, for podcasts in general, I think you know having a refreshment of guests is like you know it's really interesting. Yeah. It's a it's sort of an essential thing to podcasting. I mean, we can have a conversation. We can always have like a con. I can always have a conversation with Sophia, but then you're just saying the two hosts again and again. You want some spicy content um mm-hmm. to say um so yeah we're definitely going to take that approach as well you know bringing in guests from not only the apn crew and apn stories so um we can not only have more perspectives into sort of the apn production life but also just more background about behind story development you know bring bringing on our interview guests uh why we why we choose to bring up uh multi, you know some history teachers over and over again um uh, maybe we could bring even bring in a congressperson to talk here and just talk talk about political experiences. And we can tie that into sort of our um, political corner stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, we're also looking to do um, because unfortunately this year um, our male female ratio is seventeen to three. <laughs> um, uh, we're hoping to feature an all female episode with just our three um, female APN reporters. That, that way sounds we, like a brilliant idea, actually. Yeah, because because you know we were talking, Sunyas and I were talking, and uh, you know it's unfortunately you know this is it, it kind of sucks that this year is so not gender balanced, and we were hoping to just you know give them give them a give like Sophia, Giselle, Clara, um, those three really just a like platform, a spotlight. Yeah, yeah, uh, a platform to express sort of express their insight and their perspectives into a very male dominated APN. Um, I think we were also thinking about um, sort of having a a live show. Maybe one of our podcasts could be a live show, um, sort of like a a call-in radio show through Instagram live where people can interact with us in real time and just sort of like ask questions like, Oh, Hey, um, what do you think about this? Or I saw this. I really liked it. And we go, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, next uh, next caller, please. Da, 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 oh, you know. that, yeah, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. And you also said, like, we might be updating our graphics and uh, even, like, move the podcast and whatever onto other platforms. Inst- yeah. Uh, not just Instagram and YouTube, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, we've been – I've been looking to – because – Again, a lot of what I what I envision for this podcast is similar to what I what I'm doing right now on keeping it Arcadia. So, in order for a podcast to really be a podcast, it can't just be on YouTube because 
not many people listen to podcasts through YouTube, which is a video streaming service. I want to start branching into Spotify and Apple Podcasts because those are the platforms that people regularly use, especially Spotify. And so um, I'll, we'll definitely be informing y'all y'all in uh, whenever we put our spot our podcast up on Spotify. Well, I'll definitely make sure to um, have the social media our social media committee work that out. Yeah, um, definitely. And I think there's like um, one more very important thing for you know any of our shows. It's the consistency. We yeah, want to we, keep these shows consistent, and you know, have a schedule to plan it and all that stuff. Yeah, we definitely have a. I think we've had a consistent. Both of us have had consistency issues just because <laughs> we don't. Yeah. Just because you know we're so busy all the time, especially with college apps. So I think second semester, um, hopefully, we'll be able to follow a stricter schedule and make up for sort of this year. And with that, it's a wrap. Thank you all for listening to Season 2, Chapter 2 of APN's Waveform. Check out Kevin Wu and Jackie Liang on APN's gaming show, Got AFK, every other Wednesday at 1 p.m. In fact, go watch their third show right now because it premiered, since it premiered just this week. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more of this spicy content. Don't forget to also watch APN's weekly news shows every Friday at 1 p.m. Once again, we thank Vietnam Kitchen for sponsoring this episode. This has been Lawrence. Tune in next time on APN's Wait For.